Busy guy? Yeah, sure. Like every movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's a coincidence. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's great to see you. I actually well, it's very funny that they came out, uh, the two movies that have yeah. come out have bewitched in this at the same time, you know, yeah, because yeah. I made them a long, long well, time ago. Well, of course, apart. That was, and The Weatherman, I saw. Yeah, The Weatherman. Yeah, I, saw, I saw The Weatherman in February because Gore was supposed to come to Toronto. Yeah. And now they've postponed it. Postponed it to, to November. Yeah, but it's so good. Did you like it? Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Neither a good the, movie, yeah. yeah. Uh, but all three, this and Bewitched, they're so different. Absolutely. It, well, I, it made a good year for me. Yeah, I, I had fun year. on several different levels. Well, keep up the good work. I'm trying to. Okay. Uh, congratulations. Always wonderful to see you. Your earliest memories of Batman? My earliest memories of Batman was the, uh, the films, but not the comics, because I grew up in the war and there weren't any comics because there wasn't any paper. I think used to fire paper at Germans for some reason. I don't know what happened. There was, there was always, so you can't get it. They're using it for ammunition, you know, like fertilizer in the soil. They're firing manure at Germans, whatever. They're firing Batman comics at Germans, and I'm killing them. It's, it, so I never saw any Batman or comics or anything until the movies came out, it, which was quite late. For, it, it, I think it was uh, the first time I was really aware uh, was on television, I think, uh, that one. And that was very campy. You know, I mean, it was like a joke. I saw it last night when I was getting ready to go out. It suddenly came on television. Yeah, with Burgess Meredith, the parrot man or something. It was very campy, and Robin, I, you know, I'm glad we don't have a Robin in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tights, the yeah, there's, no, there's no Robin with tights on, we don't need that. No, <laughs> no you get this script, you know, Christopher sends you the script, <laughs> and which I would think would ha must have blown you away. What was it that you connected with? Well, the first thing you connect with, you go, Christopher Nolan, I mean, I knew his work, he's going to do $180 million Batman, and you go, Jesus Christ. And then, it, then the script says, Batman Begins, and you wait, wait a minute, I've seen seven or eight Batman, what is he talking about? And then you read the script and you know that you're really seeing uh, a, a, type, a, a version of Batman for the first time. It really does begin. I was talking to a man yesterday, a reporter who was in, interviewing me, and the first thing he said to me was, he said that this, this is the movie that all Batman fans have been waiting for. He said, this is the one they should have made. And I feel that because the way you de he develops it and also normally these pictures are a lot of plastic characters running around to get you to the next big explosion or, or whatever here he has got wonderful actors I'm not talking about me I'm talking about all the others he's got great actors with the exception of me and they and, they, and he's got great construction there is construction and there's a mind working and it's, it was a wonderful script he brought it to me on a Sunday morning and said, you've got to read it now because I'm not leaving it with you. And it, he was very secretive. And it wasn't even called Batman Begins. It was called The Intimidation Game. And the whole movie was made. I mean, the, on the clapperboard when we were making the movie, it said Intimidation Game. And he never, in, in, he wouldn't let it out. It's his secret thing. And you see why now, because it's an absolutely unique way of looking at Batman. And it's an amazing relationship between Alfred and Bruce Wayne. Yeah, oh yeah, because... Uh, um, there are two reasons for that. I mean, obviously, Christian and I, who never knew each other before, we, we get on very well. Plus, he's an excellent actor and the best Batman I've ever seen. But also, I grew up in, in, in very large houses. My mother was a cook, so I was sort of upstairs, downstairs. I was downstairs. I, I'm, I'm good at that. I always get downstairs. And so I knew butlers, and I knew how butlers worked and everything. And he himself, uh, Christian, has, has very strong feelings about masters and servants. He's a very egalitarian kind of person. So he came down to this line as far as he could go to be a friend with me and I went up to the line as far as I could go to be a friend with him without usurping or being insolent or anything. Mm -hmm. But even so he can still say to him, don't forget to bring the Rolls Royce back full up, <laughs> you know. It, it's that great relationship that you can have with a master and servant, especially when they're in, like in Batman, their partners in making the, un the, the suit. Yeah. Why do you think Christian Bale was the perfect guy to play Batman? What were your impressions of him? Well, I'd seen him in American Psycho. That's all I saw him in. 
And the very first thing that struck me about him when I met him uh, in, on the Batman set that he was extremely dedicated because in American Psycho he was this rather thin young man. When I went on the set of Batman, there was Arnold Schwarzenegger standing. I thought, boy, this guy really means it. He's been doing push-ups here. I felt I thought I should do at least do one push-up myself. <laughs> Token stuff, you know. So I, I knew he was dedicated. But if you see American Psycho, he looks like the all-American boy, even though he's an Englishman. He's been in America so long, he's the all I thought he was an American. I didn't know he was English. But he has this dark side. I don't know whether he has it in real life. As an actor, he has a dark side on this very nice, open, keen face, you know? And I think that's why... Christ I've heard Christopher say that's why he chose him. He has a dark side on an innocent face, which Batman, of course, does have a very dark side. If you're going to crawl up the Empire State Building dressed as a bat, you've got a dark side. <laughs> I say. <laughs> and your impressions when you first saw him in that bat suit? Oh, I thought... I, I looked at him and I remember I said, it must be hot in there. <laughs> he said it is. He said, I'm, he said he was losing two or three pounds a day inside that damn thing. But I, the first time I saw the bat suit, I, he wasn't in it. I was on the set in that cellar, in, in that cave we had where we were making this stuff. And I'm curious with the set, because I go around, I'm, I, I'm supposed to know the place, it was my first thing there. What I do as an actor, I go around and, 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 and familiarize myself with all the doors and everything, because if I've been in there 30 times, why am I opening a door the wrong way? Like someone who doesn't know it, I've got to see. That's the first thing you do on a set, is if, if it's your home, you've got to go around and it, that opens easily. And I opened this cupboard, it made me jump because the bat suit was right there. I went, oh, shit. I shut it very quickly. Because it's a tough looking suit, really, isn't it? I mean, that's the tough suit. This is clearly open for more. Are you up for some more of these? Because I hope. Oh, not. yeah. Well, at the end, you see, Gary Oldman is the police chief, says, Thanks for helping me with this. By the way, we've got trouble with this guy. He turns the card over, and it's a Joker. The only thing is, I don't want to be the guy who has to play the Joker after Jack did it. <laughs> no, 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 you're going to be Alfred from here I'm, on I'm in. I'm Alfred, yeah, but imagine the guy who's got to play the Joker. Tough, big shoes to fill. Yeah. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Well, thank thank you, you, and best of luck. And, thank you uh, so I'm going to see if you this afternoon, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh, yeah.